choosing Active 911. This video will help you understand the settings in your app so that you can set everything to your preference and never miss a call. In addition to alerting, the Active 911 app can be used for mapping, routing, chat, response, and even creating records. We'll tackle the most important features first. One of the most used Active 911 features is mapping. You can use Google, Apple, or other external apps to route yourself to a call. When you get an alert, click the mapping icon of your choice in iOS. Notice that on Android, you will be limited to Google Maps only. When you click the address, you'll automatically be routed to the location because the preset for auto routing is on. If you don't want to be auto routed, slide the setting to off. If you want to use an external map like turn by turn directions from Google, Apple, Waze, or another traffic app, scroll down and choose external links. To see your map data, you'll want to access the map from the alert address. There, you'll see icons for hydrants, AEDs, landing zones, NOx boxes, and other assets. Photos, PDFs, and pre-plans may be attached to these data points. A triangle next to the marker indicates that there's a pre-plan or other resource attached. You can also easily adjust the density of the map markers. Choose Rural to see all of your map data points when you are zoomed out, or Urban to only see map data points when you are zoomed farther in. You can also choose whether to view maps as streets, satellite, or hybrid. In map settings, you can also choose to turn off different map layers. Locations are your map data. Devices are people and apparatus. Individual map data points, like hydrants, can be turned off and on at any time. Once you have opened an alert, you can also respond to it. Active 911 has five response buttons that can be customized by your agency. When you choose a status, your response is logged for other agency members to see. They will be able to see your location depending on your location settings. Foreground GPS means your location is only broadcast when the app is open. Background GPS will broadcast your location even when the app is backgrounded. You can choose high or low accuracy to save battery. You can see the current status of everyone who has responded to the call by clicking Response. You can see the response history for this call by clicking Log in iOS or Report in Android. Use the Share button to email the log to yourself along with the call details. Now let's talk about ringtones. Active 911 has 20 ringtones plus silent mode. The Android app will let you use additional ringtones as well as choose vibration patterns. iOS will limit you to Active 911 ringtones only. The override silent feature will cause Active 911 to alert when on duty, even when your phone is set to silent on both iOS and Android phones. The continuous repage feature will cause the app to continue alerting until you unlock the phone and open the alert. Your agencies are located in settings below the general app settings. Your duty status is located within each of your agencies. You can choose from on duty, off duty, off duty available, or automatic. Automatic means your admin has put in your shift schedule from the console and your duty will change automatically with your shift. Off-duty available means even when you are off-duty, you will still get alerted for calls that are within five miles of your location. You will not get alerts if your status is set to off-duty. Your admin can set up filters that will let calls through based on page group or call type. Ask your admin about this function. Each agency will have individual settings for duty, ringtone, groups, assignment, and chat notifications. You can choose a different ringtone for different agencies. Groups are your page groups. These may be different units or shifts within an agency. Groups can be locked or unlocked. Your admin will need to place you in a group if the group is locked. Some agencies page by group only. So if you are not in any groups and you are not receiving alerts, 
ask your admin if you need to be added to one. Assignments are also handled by your admin, and in most cases should be left on automatic. Chat notifications is where you can choose to receive notifications about chat messages in a group you are in. You can choose to be notified about chat messages only when the app is open, when the app is closed or open, or not receive any notifications. Your active 911 app is preset to save alerts indefinitely on iOS and up to one month on Android. You have several options on both for how long you want to store alert information on your phone locally. Alerts can be deleted automatically at intervals you choose or individually by sliding the alert across on iOS or clicking the alert on Android. iOS users should note, if you have the all-time option enabled, storing more than 1,000 alerts on your device will affect operation speed. Your admins will always have access to all historical alert data. Lastly, let's talk about how the app appears on your phone. There are three themes to choose from on iOS and four on Android. Battalion Blue, which is the default and our favorite. Light. Dark. And Dark Red on Android only. Note that the Auto Dim option is only functional for the light theme. You can also control the length of time until screen timeout. Android and iOS have slightly different options. If you need help with your app settings or something isn't working, please remember this number, 541-223-7992. It's the Active 911 support number. Our support is a little different in that our support people are real people who work in the same office as our developers. They also answer calls 75% of the time within the first ring cycle, so you know you'll always get to talk to a real person. You can also email us at support at active911.com. Emails are generally answered within 48 hours. Please don't tag us on social media or DM us with support requests. These accounts are not monitored 24-7. Thanks for choosing Active 911.